viewers, I'm greeting you all over the world in the name of Jesus Christ. I come to you with this message which says you should be stubborn or else you'll never see it. You'll never see it in your life unless you become stubborn spiritually, unless you have what it takes. If we read in the Bible, read in Genesis, we'll find a story of Abraham. Abraham was telling God that let your will be done upon my life. And the will of God, it's, it's long. Abraham waited and waited until 200 years. That's when he had a child. So you have to be stubborn to God. You have to tell, you have to tell your, the Lord your God when you want something. You have to tell him like Peter was saying to God that let me come unto you where you are if you are not a ghost. Peter was stubborn at that moment. Peter had faith in God. Be stubborn wherever you are. Ruth, Ruth was told by, by Naomi that, no, go back to your homeland. I don't have children to marry you. But Ruth was stubborn at that moment. And Ruth got married to, to a man who is even richer than the, the former husband. Because she was stubborn. You have to be stubborn, stubborn spiritually to see your blessings. For you to see your success in your life, spiritually, physically, you have to be stubborn. You have to move according to God's will, according to God's will. You have to walk according to what he wants. According, don't just tell him that let your will be done upon my life. You have to also tell him your will because his will, one, one day to him it's a thousand years. Or one day to us, to him it's a thousand years. That's his one day. And you tell him let, you, let uh, your will be done upon my life. And you live 20 years, you are tired. And, and God is saying, ah, look at this one. It's, it's just been 20 minutes and he's, he's tired. So we should be stubborn to God. If you want something, you want it now. You tell God that I want this now. You are not seeing spiritually. You are not, uh, you are not successing in what you are doing. Be stubborn to God. Tell the Lord your Father that, uh, no, this has to come at this moment. God listens and God God does according to your word. You have to challenge God with his word because in his word he says that ask and you shall be given. Uh, that was our message for today.